गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबडी दिस इज संगीता सक्सेना एडिटर एविएशन एंड डिफेंस यूनिवर्स गेटिंग यू लाइव फ्रॉम यूरो सैटरी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू एंड ह्योर आई एम इन द इजरेली पवेलियन विथ टू स्मार्ट गाइज ऑफ स्मार्ट शूटर द फर्स्ट वन इज डॉक्टर इब्राहम मजोर वाइस प्रेसिडेंट बिजनेस डिवेलपमेंट एंड मार्केटिंग and the second in front of me is Sharon Loney vice president research and development welcome gentlemen to adu's chat room thank you and now that we are here in europe amidst a lot of excitement at euro saturday uh, dr mazor i'd like to begin with you what is the reason that you have such a big shop in europe we do believe that exhibition is the right place to meet to meet a customer to meet partner to meet colleagues This is the excellent way since in the last four years there was no way to have this exhibition because of COVID-19. So we are enjoying a lot of meetings, a lot of interest and that's something that we can spread our capability to all over the world. That's wonderful. But uh, you know what from what a common man's perspective is that Europe is a very very self-sufficient market. So what do you see for Israel here? We do see we do see it in a very positive way the market is all over the world the threat is almost everywhere could be in Europe could be in the US could be in the far east and we are more than happy to have partners all over the globe and that's exactly what we're trying to do That's wonderful absolutely and we now move to Sharon Sharon research and development one of the most important fields we can't do without it So what is the reason for the vice president research and development to be here have you found something interesting which others haven't and you haven't uh, what is so good in eurosatry which attracts to the r&d so uh, of course uh, eurosatry is is uh, the largest exhibition here at europe and as uh, mr mazor said we haven't had this exhibition for a long time it's a great opportunity to visit uh, potential uh, partners uh, to view if uh, all kinds of uh, technical advances in the market which can uh, maybe help us in uh, make the our own product much better uh, everything is advancing all the time and we need to keep up with wh- what's going on and see whatever fits us and create again partnerships with other uh, potential uh, companies which can help us and are there any innovations you've seen here uh, at the show now that we are on the fourth day uh, which you feel are great and you would like to incorporate uh, we have seen some uh, new sensors uh, new building blocks that we can incorporate in, into our own systems and as mentioned we are constantly trying to get better uh, and uh, keep up with the market i've seen some very interesting stuff here right absolutely and uh, dr mazor marketing and business development you know there's small 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 countries in europe which are very potential uh, you know customers so how do you read what are the re- uh, you know regions you feel in europe which could be just the right for you i think the world is very dynamic and we have to look what's happening today and what's going to happen in the future unfortunately the threats are all over the world not only here the ukraine issue only taught us that we have to be ready to have to be ready in all aspects to have the right ammunition the right weapon the right support and for that i think europe now is becoming the largest potential area for the defense that i'm sure that other country will follow because the need is all over and we yeah. try to do it almost everywhere including the police Yes and uh, you know you in addition to Europe you also have a very big market which is coming from other parts of the world here so are they also uh, a part of your uh, target uh, at the moment do you feel that there are other uh, continents which also could be a good foray for you while you are here at the show yeah absolutely i mean uh, we have many visitors coming from the far east less from the USA i have to admit market in the USA is totally different but i mean europe the uh, central and eastern part of europe in the far east are becoming an entity where we do believe there is a huge potential needs in the coming near future and we have to be prepared for that and 
the the meeting we have had in the last week, this week, are quite important to guide us and to focus more on where we have to be in the coming near future. And how has the footfall been here? How is? Has the footfall been? People have been coming and inquiring about the product and... Uh... I think it's quite interesting and my colleague will elaborate more. We are uh, running here a kind of revolution in the small world. Something that never happened. We are creating a new atmosphere, a new way how to use the small arm, more like a missile than the old way of using small arm. We like the small arm to be very precise, to be able to hit on the first round at any target, not to kill innocent guy, not to kill standby, and to protect our soldiers as well. So we are creating here a kind of revolution which will be adapted, in my understanding, in the coming few years to all countries who are using the small arm. And we uh, move to Sharon. Sharon, one thing I will continue from what Dr. Mazor said. He said that, you know, uh, there is... Uh, anybody else should not get hit. There is no collateral damage. Exactly. Right? Is the research and development in Smart Shooter focused on not having collateral damage with the small arms? This is one of our uh, main uh, things that we look into because of course uh, we are looking to be as precise as possible and it brings a lot of uh, different uh, benefits to the end user. Uh, first of all of course to hit what you want to hit and not less important is not to hit something that you wish to avoid and that is something that we pay very much attention to how to make it uh, extremely accurate into the fact that uh, collateral damage would be minimal. And also to continue with uh, trying to understand what is the level of research and development you indulge into? Is it a very big department you have at Smart Shooter? What is it? You know, basically I like to understand your department from you. So we look at ourselves as an R&D company. I mean it's true that we produce systems in large quantities and we provide them to customers all over the world. But essentially, we are an R&D company. Uh, at least half of the company is uh, the R&D department. Uh, we have engineers of all the different disciplines, from uh, software, hardware, mechanics, electro-optics, uh, controls, everything that we need, we have in-house. And we continuously uh, in enrich our portfolio, enlarge our portfolio, uh, see the market needs, understand from the marketing people what they see from their own uh, potential customers and we adapt to that. Wonderful and uh, you know because we are Indian and Israel-India partnership is very strong, very old. So uh, Dr. Mazor, I'd like to understand from you what is Smart Shooter's India plan? Before the just a few words, I mean to what my colleague said, I think we have to be ready all the time for any new threat to come. So the R&D is a key way to be able to cope with this threat. This is number one. Number two, as long as the system our operational enhancement will be over. We cannot avoid enhancement for system because we have to adapt the capability to be able to cope with the threat. So it's a kind of dynamic. Just because of that, the R&D department is so strong in our company beside the production and the management. Now India, as I said before, we treat India as our partner, not as a customer only. We like to be there in all the area of the small arm, being able to produce in India. We have uh, the capability to do it, we have the wish to do it. We have selected a partner, local partner, who will support us in all aspects of marketing including training, maintenance, local production. We like to see the product as Indian-made product. And we'll be proud once that happens, big volume to justify the investment for local production. But we are more than happy to do it. And does that mean that uh, at some stage you might uh, think of putting a manufacturing plant in India? Absolutely, yes. We have decided to cooperate with local partners under the idea he will be our right hand for the local maintenance, local production, local support, and we like to see the Indian guy who 
train the Indian guys, not the Israeli guys. We are only behind to support. Right. I just hope that comes out to be true and we'll be very happy to see it. And uh, gentlemen, thank you very much for being with ADU. It's just wonderful to understand so much. A relationship which has been very strong right from the beginning between India and Israel. And we really look forward to the advancement on it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.